stupid. Oh, oh. I forgot to turn on the mic. Nice. Starting off great. Okay, so how are you guys doing today? John, what's up, John? Welcome back. Rally 3000. The Malorian. Walter Lucas, what's up? BG2. Smokey, what's up, Smokey? PR Kevin, how are you guys doing today? Yeah, I forgot to turn on the microphone. Very smart. Okay, happy Diamond Day. We are back for another Diamond Day. Five minutes for the Diamond. And we should get, we should get the gift, right? Today is happy Marvel Strike Force Day. Happy birthday to Marvel Strike Force. Let's see. What is the web slinger tag for the event? So the, the new team is Spider Society. Spider Society. <laughs> Daniel, what's up? IP Diamond Day, professional streamer. Six minutes until the big gift. You guys really think we're gonna get a big gift? Joker, what's up? Viper GT, what's up? St uh, Sevis. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I get the name now. Sevis Stinky Snatch. Yikes. Big, big yikes. Nice name. Sinpool, what's up? Waiting for the, that big gift. You, you think it's going to be a calendar? Oh man, I really hope it's not a calendar. If it's a calendar, it's very disappointing. Yes, today is the last season of... Uh, today is the last day of, of the season. But uh, we have one more day until the season officially ends. Uh, so we should only get the rewards tomorrow with, uh, with the Friday blog. No gift yet. Too bad Miles is not part of the team. So I'm I'm actually surprised that Miles is not part of the team because they, they put the the artwork there, right? So there is the artwork for him, so I'm not exactly sure why not. Just check it, Ghost and Spider-Man Noir, they are skill. Yeah, PR Kevin, we don't know for sure. We don't know for sure if they're gonna change it or not. We don't know if they are gonna change the, the gear requirements for them. Sir Naughty, welcome back. There was a couple of data mines. Yeah, yeah the, the last data mines we had were uh, last week. Oh, we have now. We have now the new data mines, I think. Wow. Holy sh... Holy smokes. So many data mines. Okay, let's open it. We have tons of data mines now. They just dropped. They dropped like 40 minutes ago. Wow, this is a ton of data mines. We, we might even have information about the next legendary. Big gift equals five castle shards and $150 offer. Yikes. Okay, you guys want to see these data mines right now? It's a lot of data mines. The Lions coins. Oh, we can see that. Someone asked me to show. So we had a patch last week and now you got another patch. Okay, let's see if we have the, the new tokens. Edit. Do we have new? Oh, we have. Wow. We, now we have co colorful ones. Colorful ones. So Fantastic Four is new. We have the one for Black Widow. This one, I have no idea what it is. We have one for Apocalypse. We have one for Asgard. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if it's X-Men or X-Factor. This one is X-Men. This one might be something else. We have one for Thanos. Uh, this is the hand. What is this? Pegasus, I guess. This one, no idea. And then we have pretty much the same, but with colors. Cool stuff, cool stuff. So let's see. Uh, we had Apocalypse 1. I guess we can use this one. Oh, this is the New Mutants, right? Or X-Factor or New Mutants or something. Okay, we can use this one for now. Then I'll take a screenshot and, and see what people want. Okay, there you go. It's nice that now we have colorful icons. I think that's pretty cool. 
Carvan, I guarantee the gift will be disappointing. So the, the usually the birthday compensation or the, the birthday gift is usually good. We'll see if it's good or not. Usually it is, but who knows for sure, right? What they should fix is the, the tags, the, the names now. They switch the icon and, and it's not good. Okay, let's take a look at those data mines. A lot of things are coming. So Penny Parker description. So this means all these new characters, they are already in game. Oh, they are already in game. Oh, look. They are already here. Let, let's see if it bugs like last time. Last time, every time you'd favorite a character, it would crash the game. Seems like it's not the case. So you might also see them in MSF.gg, right? So simple and so awesome. That's the thing that uh, Scopely or Boundless needs to understand. Is that sometimes simple things can be very cool. Okay. We already have all the information on the characters on uh, msf.gg so we'll take a, uh, a in-depth look into them and uh, deadpool is also supposed to get a rework this patch not announced yet but it kind of is this is probably going to be another two months patch mephisto is already here in the middle uh, panda pool where is the panda pool miss marvel no panda pool is st still not in game and that's it. Okay, so we have a lot of things to see today. Ready for the big surprise? We'll see. <laughs> Is it already in game? Oh, no, Cosmic Crucible Rewards. Okay. So no, no, no super gift yet. We should get some T4s. Yeah, I, I strongly believe we'll get some T4s. They put a new update, but nothing fixed it. Yeah, so the Cabal, uh, the leader's passive is still not working. The leader special is still not working. The Colossus ultimate is still not working. And those were just the bugs that, uh, that we detected recently, right? The raids, the raids are also not working. It was very difficult for us to complete the raids today because it always looked like we had 98%. And it was very confusing to see who was missing one other. That's Dallas, welcome back. The rewards are trash, just got it, really? Okay, let's see. Oh, I got two diamonds to open, nice. BK Lonely, what's up? Welcome back. I have an update. Mongoli told me on his live stream, Professor X is not the Dark Dimension Knight character is one of the rewards of the Dark Dimension 8 nodes. Okay, interesting. The super gift is trash. How do you guys have the super gift and I don't have? Okay, I'm gonna reset the game. Okay, let's see. Air Chris, I got the gift. Not awesome. Oh, yikes. Jackie Poo, welcome back. I jumped up 100 spots in CC this week to rank 562. Damn, I need to go 3-0 next week. Next week is over, man. The, the Cosmic Crucible Season 6 ends today. Today is the last day of the week, of the season. Next week, it will be Season 7. So everyone is going to be pushed down and then you have to climb up again. Professor X rewards of uh, so okay i understand what uh, what bk Lonely is saying is that uh, maybe we can unlock a professor x like five yellow or something and then you can get more shards on uh, certain nodes of dark dimension 8. it might have a restructuring and with that we have uh, the nodes okay so red stars for the leader will end soon okay gear explosion okay only for new players. Rise of the Cabal to this left. And here we go. I'm scared. I'm scared. Six anniversary gift. Shears to six years. Three to one. Here we go. Six million gold. 600 training materials. 600 dark promos. What the hell is this shit? No power cores. No T4s. Really? What? 
What? They always give power quarters. It's the first time they don't they don't give power quarters. Castle shards, Val shards, like bro, put these, these shards up your ass. Are you serious? Like what what am I supposed to do with these shards? Is this Raid Shadow Legends or something? I cannot do anything with these shards. They always give it not even no diamonds, no nothing, just dark promos, really. Ten no five. Five gear tier 18 orbs. Are you kidding me? No diamonds, no nothing, no power cores. Bro, what is this? This is so garbage. This is so it's beyond trash. It's like it's not trash, it's beyond trash. They always give power cores. Always. Every single year they have given power cores. This is very, very trash. I don't know what to say. I'm very disappointed. Every year they always give gold and power cores. At least those, those two things have been a constant. And training materials, I think, as well. This is the first time that they don't give us power cores. Dark, dark promos? Like, who gives a fuck about the dark promos? 600 of them? Oh, man. Trash. This is absolute trash. And this gear tier 18, like, we already have gear tier 19 in the game, and you are giving us five, five orbs? Five orbs, bro. Seriously. It's a joke. It's really a joke. The crimson gear, I was not expecting. That I was not expecting. But this, this is no bueno. This is really bullshit. The gift is bullshit, trash for those who have been playing the game from the beginning. Yes, yes. Because in terms of uh, value per dollar, this is probably the, the worst we have ever got. So this is not good. Like all these orbs, gear tier 17, gear tier 8, 16. We don't need any of these. Especially because these orbs, they don't give like uh, catalysts. They only give the un mean uniques. So very, very trashy. Absolute trash. Evo Jose, what's up? Welcome back. What do you think of the Cabal team? Is a team worth building? I just made two videos about it. One video about them in Cosmic Crucible, other video about them in Dark Dimension 6. But yes, yes, you should definitely build them. Man, that was... Ew, this is disgusting. Poké Goduna, welcome back. Shards for new players, like... For new players, this is a good gift, but for veteran players, for someone that has been playing for like two years or three years, this is trash. Space Candy, welcome to the chat. Yeah, definitely a, a, a gift for new players. Very disappointing. Okay, I will take the gold, but I, I'll be still waiting for the power cores. Once again, this is the first time they have not given power cores. This is very disappointing. I guess because they are counting the other nodes as rewards for the six year. But uh, we always got power cores. It's the, the only thing that has been somewhat constant is the power cores. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I don't know what to say. Well, what I'm going to say is make sure you buy everything from the store just in case they reset the store. It seems like the game is lagging a lot. So they might reset it. Okay, here we go. Is it already crashing or just lagging? And this is another thing, like, it's not normal for the game to lag so much. Unless my internet crashed, but no, it didn't crash. Okay, mutant gear. Mm, I guess, I guess you'll get that mutant gear. Or uh, we're gonna wait a little bit. Need to save gold as well. Okay, we're going to do some more attacks today. We're going to open these diamonds to see if you are lucky. Not sure if Erna Milky wants to open the diamonds or not. I should go ask her. But first off, we need to do C Theory. C Theory has been amazing for us lately. So yeah, okay, we need 8,000 Dark Promos for Super Scroll. Not good. 6,000 for Apocalypse. Not good as well. Moon Dragon. 
I'm looking for uh, one diamond on um, Spider Slayer. That's my goal right now. Okay, let's get all this junk. Three diamonds on Asian Venom. I mean, Asian Venom was imported last season. This season that just ended, Asian Venom was imported there. But now, yeah, now it's not imported anymore. Supposedly. We're going to check out those rules for uh, for Season 7. And see if we can do some uh, nice defense. Okay, so here we go. Let's do C-Theory. We're going to open five or, uh, eight of these. And we are looking for... Uh, Blue or purple in the middle or gold on the left side. Okay, we open three. Come on, bro. Four. Five. Okay, Deadpool is a good sign. We can open a few more. Six. Seven. Eight. A purple. Okay, that's not good enough. Let's open a few more. Five more. Just to see. Michael Gioia, welcome back. How are you enjoying the six year anniversary gift? No power cores. Yeah, okay, this is a bad seed. Another purple, but it's not getting anywhere. Two more. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to reset the game and we'll check out the. We'll check out the, the store. Okay, here we go. Three diamonds on Valkyrie. I mean, if they ever rework the Hero Guardians, it's not bad. It's not a, a it's not a bad thing. And, th and that's another thing, like the diamonds you get, uh, then you can get duplicates and then uh, it will allow you to get diamonds on other characters. Okay, so with that said, let's take a look. Let's see if we have any update. Let's check out the data mines. We're going to do that in a second. So no new update. Let's try to jump into the store. Am I the only one who's desperate for uh, for gold? Three diamonds on She-Hulk. Wow, that's very good, simple. That's very, very good. She-Hulk is one of those characters that no one wants to get up. But when you get up, it's actually pretty decent. Okay, so we have uh, one free orb over here. We're going to get all of that. We have, once again, the offers for the leader. Very good character, guys. If you guys have not tried Cabal yet, this is, Cabal is a very good team. And, uh, and they're going to provide value in a lot of places. Wow, this offer is not rash. This offer is very good. Very, very good. So for $10... You're getting 2 million gold plus 5 orbs. So that should be another million gold. 400 dark promos. So this is going to be 450. So definitely worth it 2 times $5. Depending if you if you need dark promos or not. Okay, this one we saw yesterday. It's not bad, but it's the price point is too high. 5 million gold plus C4s. It's not bad either. Not bad either, if you are desperate for T4s. Gold training materials, okay, not the best, not the worst. And then we have the offers for the event. This event of for Iron Patriot, a lot, a lot of people are struggling to, to even unlock Iron Patriot. Were you guys able to unlock him already or not yet? I know that yesterday some people in the chat said that uh, you're able to unlock because we, we knew the data mines Two weeks before the event started, and uh, and you were able to stack, stock up on uh, isolate energy. But yeah, okay. So once again, this is the first year that we don't get uh, that we don't get uh, power cores as a gift. Kind of disappointing. Shilk is expensive. That's why. Yeah, she's expensive indeed, but she's a good a good character. If you can get it up, she will definitely make a difference on her team. Nanito Nando, welcome back to the Bain. Boa noite. I'm getting all trash tunes, three diamonds. Anomaly detected. 
anomaly detected could be great. Maybe it's a sign that they are resetting the, the store. Free is free, yeah, but uh, if uh, they were going to send the SBS, they shouldn't uh, hype the community with a gift. I agree, like, the, this type of gift, it's not hype at all. Like, 6 million gold, this is what we are expecting already. And, uh, and yeah. If they were really hyping us, it should be something legit like diamonds or something like that. Not just the gold. The only thing useful there was gold, nothing else. Like for new players, for new players, if you started playing Marvel Strike Force this month, very, very good. For everyone else, absolute trash. Carvan, FU Day, first trash rewards, then two diamonds on Scientist Supreme. I'm telling you, man, when Scientist Supreme gets a rework, you will not be disappointing. Uh, disappointed. She's very good. Cyber Duedel, my Iron Patriot is stuck at 99 out of 100. Ooh, that's terrible. You guys have to collect your uh, Alliance credits to, to get it. Just scored like Maniac to unlock him before his release to get the costume. Awesome, awesome. At least that. Got one shard from Iron Patriot Orb. Ew, that's disgusting. Yeah, that's really terrible. Great tree error. Now the game isn't loading. Ooh, yikes. The game is crashing non-stop. I mean, Nina, what's up? Welcome back. In the middle of war battle, the game crashed. On spawn crash. <laughs> On spawn, the game crashes. Yikes. Oh my god. Always disappointment on Marvel Land. Game lo not loading and the website is down. Oof, that's a big yikes. Anomaly detected. Ryan, welcome back. Shytown Citizen, what's up? Etanshi, welcome to the chat. How are you doing? Oh my god, okay. Should I even try to do CTR now that the game is crashing? I'm collecting my free claims in the meantime. Uh, getting so close of level 100 is is making me struggle for gold. Struggling for gold. Tyler B, welcome back. Make Emma great again. Great again. Emma, she's pretty decent if you gear it up. Have you seen episode number three of uh, X-Men 97? Yes, 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 yes. I really enjoyed it. So I watched the episode without the sound, just with subtitles. I really enjoy it, but I, I want to watch it a second time or a third time. The episode is very good, but I think it should be a, a two part. A two part episode, I think it would have been better. But I like uh, the way they did the Madeline Pryor and they have that opportunity of, of Madeline Pryor coming back in the future as a Anti-hero, maybe. Maybe anti-hero, right? Someone like Venom, anti-hero. The game is gone. Ooh, that's not good. 119 Perry is welcome back. Can you please tell me what the envoys be smoking? I don't know, man. I don't talk with the envoys. You guys might think I talk with the envoys. I don't talk. Like, never, ever. There is no envoy I have a frequent communication with. But it's definitely a good question. Having a training material bottleneck. Yeah, for me it's gold. I have a lot of training materials. Gold I have zero. 340 DCC. Love winning when I was bottom. Awesome man, awesome. That's amazing. My first five tunes for Dark Dimension 7. I'm thinking about uh, Vulture Craven. Firestar, Robbie Rays, and uh, and Super Scroll, but I'm not sure about the Super Scroll. Michael Gio episode three was great. This show is way above the expectation. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I was expecting an absolute uh, like uh, LGBT fest. It still is a little bit, but uh, it it's 
it's to a degree that you can ignore it. So I think uh, overall, uh, so far the first three episodes have been an absolute success uh, in terms of the series. Yeah, I'm really enjoying the, the 97, yeah. Sorry if you already answered this, but uh, what uh, with the Web Slinger tag? The Web, web Slinger tag is a old tag. If they brought that tag back, it can be for an event, but it was for a very old... Uh, it was for a very old event, like Web Warriors or something. So it, it was from an event from like two years ago or three years ago. Marcus, welcome back. No city, you need your lady luck. We'll see in a second. Training Mart, boy, do you have Gear 18 on Phoenix? Can you show what uh, she can do in Dark Dimension 6? Uh, no, unfortunately, I don't have the legendary nodes open. I maybe on uh, on Monday. Maybe I can show you. Do you think Spider Society will change Dark Dimension Seven recommendations? We'll talk about that today, Victor. The the characters they are already on MSF.gg. So the plan is the plan for today. We're gonna do C theory, open the diamonds, or we're gonna try. In the meantime, we're also going to take a look at these characters, right? We're going to see if there were any changes in terms of the gear requirements for them. Then we'll talk about the Cosmic Crucible rules for Season 7, the season that is going to start on Monday, I think, I assume. And I also have to do Alliance Wars. So we have to do in-between Alliance Wars, I guess. Wait, what series? It's the animated show X-Men 97. So, Professor X confirmed for Dark Dimension 8, but BK Loney was saying that one of the envoys said that uh, Professor X is not the final reward of Dark Dimension 8. It's not the final reward, it's a reward or a part of a reward you get in between. So, you might be able to unlock Professor X, and then you can get more shards for him throughout Dark Dimension 8, but not as the final reward. So, it's going to be definitely a different. Dark Dimension from everything we had so far. Game is unplayable now. Top scoring my CC bracket, but still got a second cause one loss. Yeah, yeah, the points in CC don't really matter. The final pon points. Growing up with X-Men and having the show come back is amazing. I hope they also bring back the, the Spider-Man show to, to finish off the story. Did you saw the that Reiji is quitting MSF. I saw the thumbnail of the video, but uh, Reiji have said the, the same in the past, so I, I'm not sure. I, I think Reiji is a cool guy, but he has made uh, several clickbait videos in the past, and I didn't have time to watch it, so I'm, I'm not sure what was the content of the video. Lord Cameron, yes, a lot of people getting problems in uh, in the game right now. People saying unplayable on some devices. Boy, who should I take? Omega Red? Need 12 Unix or Phoenix? So I think it's more important to take Omega Red. Phoenix, she, is, she doesn't have any use in the meta right now. And she uses the same Unix as Apocalypse. So between Omega Red and Phoenix, I think Omega Red is more important. It was clickbait, says Chemical Mac. Watch until the end of the video. Yeah, I didn't saw the video, but I, I don't like when people do this kind of clickbait videos on, on unless it's a, a ironic statement or something like that. I hope they don't do something like Apocalypse because everyone had the exact same teams. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's why they are doing Professor X being part of Dark Dimension 8, but maybe not being the final reward of Dark Dimension 8. He just had a kid. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I believe you, BK Loni. I believe you. I thought Reiji April's Fools at the very end. I hope not. I hope not. We are close of April's Fools. Watch out for Tauna's video. By the way, Tauna usually... He does some very nasty April Fool's video, so don't get clickbaited by it. 
the game uh, what's up vnm welcome back msf to side on ios can't claim anything story crashed on me crashed all the time george scott the game crashed as well is it is it on android as well or is it only on uh, ios he said april fools but it's still 28 as far as I know, March is 31 days, so we are like 5 days away. The new spl splash screens. Rip client again. Yikes. Gray tree. You guys are getting all the gray tree. Aaron, what's up Aaron? Welcome back. Can cancel town. On Android 2. Watch him be a 50 shard per node. Yes, yes. I think uh, I think Professor X is going to be something like that. In my opinion, I don't know. I'm not an envoy. I don't have communication with any envoys. I think it's going to be like uh, you can unlock him at five stars. And then to get more shards, you have to go through Dark Dimension 8. I think that's going to be the case. Also on Android, says Roberto. And right here, but it's back up. Make April Fool's video. You became an envoy. Oh, th that's a good one. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> that's a good idea. Boy, that's a good idea. <laughs> uh, the the Scopely guys will be pissed off so much. One Raging Nerd, what's up? Welcome back. I'm on Android and the game is unplayable. So I don't know, maybe it depends on the servers. I'm going to try to do something. Let's do, try to do C theory. Okay, here we go again. One. Once again, we need purple in the middle. Blue can also be, but Deadpool Orchestral. Three diamonds on Madeline Pryor. Oh my God, I'm jealous now. I think I got two diamonds on her recently. Okay, that's going to be four, five, six. And now I'm afraid to, to close the game. Seven, eight. No, that's 10 already, I think. Okay, nothing. Seed theory trash. If you watch Dulum's stream from this morning, you can see his hatred ass try to say being an envoy is having advanced knowledge isn't an advantage so let me see if i understand if you go to Dulum's stream from this morning you can see the his hatred oh he's retarded oh my god he's retarded ass trying to say being an envoy is not having advanced knowledge of Man, the guy is a dumbass, like, let's be honest. I really don't like Dulum. I think he has a very shitty attitude. But once uh, once again, it seems like uh, everyone who has a shitty attitude is an envoy. But, uh, but that's something definitely interesting to watch. To watch. Maybe it will be some uh, clips to remember. Yeah, like, le it's like, uh, what's her name? Nancy Pelosi. It's like Nancy Pelosi saying that uh, having inside information about uh, what companies are going to do in advance, it's not beneficial to them to sell stocks and things like this. I agree with you. It, it's a retarded take. It's just retarded. It's dumb. Uh, but, uh, but that's what the, what the envoys do. Like, they can have all the advantage. Testing the teams on a test server, knowing the rules in advantage. It's not advantage for them because they cannot capitalize on them. Because if they would be able to capitalize on them, of course in an advantage, like. So yeah. You cannot blame your own limitations for uh, missing the opportunities you have. That's the reality of it. Okay, so Geos, make April Fool's video about you quitting so you can... 
Like Art Grave did. I ripped those orbs, no C theory, and got uh, three diamonds on long shot, uh, two diamonds on X23. That's very good, that's very good. I really want uh, a Spider Verse costume for Ghost Spider. Uh, yeah, we should get some costumes for Ghost Spider. She's popular enough for uh, for getting those those costumes. Stephen Cole, welcome back. I brought up certain content creators having a Venom and Carnage at level 95 before the reworks. He was too dumb to even understand the implications of that. Exactly, right? So, this is why it's a problem with the envoys. The envoys, they participate in the same leaderboards that we do. And they have this knowledge in advance, like one week, two weeks, sometimes even a month before everyone else. And people like Dulum, which once again, I... I admittedly don't like him they try to justify that it doesn't give them an advantage when uh, when there was that uh, escape from kiln escape from kiln they already knew they already knew that they had to reward they had to get up venom and carnage before everyone else Bef before everyone else so how can they deny this shit like there is no denial if you are an envoy you have massive advantage compared to anyone else and once again, if you don't succeed more in the game, it's based on your own limitations in not being able to capitalize on them. That's the reality of it. Okay, so let's see. Uh, these are the free claims. We are still looking for that uh, shiny seed. But now I'm afraid of resetting the game and not being able to log in. Ooh, oh, yes, please. I wish this would be giving me those those rewards multiple times. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we can reset. Rescal Elida, Tanado Mike Japan. What's up, guys? Welcome back. What ISO do you put on Hela in Arena? Uh, I have been putting Fortifier on Hela. I usually use her as a skirmisher. But Fortifier on Hela helps us stay alive, and it's good. Speaking of quitting, you see... No, I, I didn't made, I didn't saw the video of Reiji. But like I said, I'm not a fan of uh, April Fools. Especially when they are not obvious. Like Tauna. Tauna, one time, Tauna changed the JSON files to announce new characters, and it was all bullshit. Just welcome back. Happy fire... <laughs> Happy F, Art Grave Day, let's go. It was April Fools. Yeah, I, I, once again, I didn't see it. Too fast. I'm from Portugal, but I'm living in Hungary. This is not a level playing field in this game. They fix some new players to advance quicker from... Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. The boosted accounts for new players is, is a big problem. Really big problem. I don't have any problems of them boosting accounts. But they should boost everyone, not just boost a few accounts. I had to sit back and think I was trying to explain something to someone who was... Looks like they have uh, fast... I don't know what fast means. How many restarts so far? I had zero. Zero restarts. Zero starts. So it might be a local thing. Maybe if you are from America or something. Not sure. Sometimes it's the case. Not always. Hela was built to be a raider. Why would you make Hela a raider? She has single target basic and she has single target special. I have Hela as a skirmisher or as, as a fortifier. Because the, many times you need to apply the disrupt from the special. You know, don't have enough focus. Raise your video was a joke. Yeah, yeah, when April Fools is it's obvious, then it's cool, but when it's not obvious, when it's clickbait and misleading on purpose, then it's a problem. From Greece, awesome man, awesome. We have a few people from Greece in the chat. Hungary has a lot of porn actresses, I've heard. Can you confirm? I cannot confirm more than I. I cannot confirm more than I. 
So that's the thing, like boosting some accounts and other accounts having time heist, it's like uh, it's like it doesn't match. It, it really like it doesn't match. Can you piece on Shard Grave Grave? <laughs> now you can go play AFK Journey. Now you can go play AFK Journey. Okay, we have the bug of the box again. Oh, this is great. I love the bug of the box. C theory for the third time. Come on, bro. Give me that good seed. You can open when I find a good seed. Well, we are still looking for the good seed. Ooh, and the lag. Fast fetal alcohol syndrome. Oh, I don't know what that means. I'm in France and me and my cluster mates are all struggling right now. Yeah, it seems like it reached me now too. Look how, look how much lag I have to open one orb. I spent one week in platinum, two crucible. Yeah, but now you're going to have a new season, so you might be pushed down again. We don't know exactly how they're going to address it uh, this, this season. Gold on the side, it doesn't matter, it has to be on the left side. Eyes wait for Iron Patriot. Skirmisher or Raider? Okay, let's see. We have green again. Oh, no, this is a trash seed. Whenever you see those green orbs and blue orbs, it's game over right away. Damn. We are still looking for that good seed so Iron Milk can open the orbs. It means his mom drank uh, alcohol while she was pregnant. Oof, yikes. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. Skip, skip. Cotton Mouth, what's up? I wait for the leader. I, I like him as a striker. I think the leader is a very strong striker. He flips, positive he flips negative effects into positive effects. He also heals and gives barrier. So, and this is for all villains, so it's very strong. Leader is a very strong striker. And he also has a lot of health. The real gift is anomaly detected back to back. Yeah, I think so, I think so. The game just level, let me level up characters for free. Oh, be careful because sometimes the game updates and then all your gold is gone. So watch out. His mom might have had a... <laughs> Oh, yikes. Can't get this game at all. Yeah, it's struggling. Just had to raise that three times in the last 30 minutes. It is worth coring to unlock the leader early. Uh, I don't know. So let's take a look at the data mines. Since the game is not working, I'm going to try to open it again. Let's take a look at the data mines to see if we have information about the leader unlock method. Okay, so we have information about uh, Spider-Man Kebab. We have information about uh, Spider-Man uh, Neo Genesis. Gen Evangelion, Spider-Man Evangelion. Make a Spider-Man. Need to find some good names for these guys. Scopely are there are the are the ashes critics? Yes, yeah, something like that, right? Your chance to win Spider-Man uh, kebab, okay. Very rewards. Okay, okay, cool. Well, may you tremble, 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 tremble. Gain progress towards this seven-day event. Okay, seven days event. By using arc enemies, okay. And this is going to give you Kang, the Conqueror, Lizard, Spider Slayer. We already have this one, right? This is old. This is old. So they reposted these, these data mines by mistake. 
leader next month character oh that's a good idea scene pool it might be the leader might be the next month character that would make a lot of sense nature and nurture earn points towards this month long milestone by collecting the following points in april gamma rays toxic waste oh, okay there we go we have full confirmation so the leader is oh man this is so garbage ah <sighs> okay so if you have a lot of power quarters if you have a lot of power quarters you might be interested in unlocking the leader early with power quarters the leader is going to be a month-long event so if you really want to take advantage of the cabal team early maybe you should consider doing power cores if they have uh, if you have a lot of power cores dude kebab is turkish uh, no kebab is actually greek kebab is actually from anywhere there are plenty there are plenty of countries that claim ownership for the origin of kebabs turkish people make kebabs more uh, popular but uh, greek people will also claim uh, origin of uh, of creating the kebabs so that's not entirely true so yes if you have a lot of power cores you might want to quarter for the leader even that we are not getting any power cores for the the one year the six year anniversary Can't wait to unlock Ultron once Star Dimension 10 releases. <laughs> okay. Okay, so players reaching the top 2% will earn exclusive. Exclusive Crimson Raid Orbs, Diamonds, and Isolate Blue Level 5. So they're really ramping up the rewards for the top 1%. Atomic Fallout. What is this Atomic Fallout? Gain progress towards this event, six days event, by spending campaign energy and hunker down web milestones. Survivors Crimson Gear, Dark Promotion Credits, Diamonds. You'll also earn points toward this, okay, the month long event. And then you have another event where you have to spend incursion energy and age of x energy in order to complete this two days milestone so it's a six days event with a two days milestone that should repeat uh, two times right and this is still not the the black cat event okay so then we have the spider society incursion event incursion event battle in war to earn crim crimson gear nature wars so this is going to be the next uh, alliance event silk outbreak earn mutant gear and gamma rays eight days event crimson tomb tombstones The first time rewards on heroic difficulty of the unstoppable undead. Is this for the, the juggernaut? Is just me or uh, okay, so completed the leaderboard and get a three diamonds. Three diamonds on juggernaut. Yikes. Three diamonds on juggernaut. You have to spend power cores and battle in cosmic crucible. What else? So we're going to have diamonds for uh, Juggernaut. Battling also in Alliance Wars for additional points. Damn, this is going to be a very difficult one. This is 100% a pay to win event. Because you have to use um, your Juggernaut. Okay. Interesting. So there is no... Apart from Power Quarters, you cannot do anything else. He's just spin power quarters. Zags with three diamonds is great. 
Yeah, exactly, right? You're gonna get the diamonds, but you cannot get the yellow stars. So, w w the last Avenger, where is Pasta from? Can you tell me where Pasta is from? Are you gonna say that Pasta is from Italy? Actually, I invented the kebab. Anyone else is lying? I agree. I really can't ever trust DM when they say words like exclusive anymore. Yeah, absolutely. Make kebab great again. <laughs> so Deadpool... Uh, yes, we should get to the Deadpool rework this patch, yes. This patch should last uh, two months again. Kaiser Tiago, El El Mute, let's go. Scopely didn't feel, feed the, the hamsters. Do we know what tomorrow Friday's free claim will be? Five shards for the leader? I mean, yes, yes. Tomorrow we should get five shards for the leader, yes. Attila, but I'm not sure. Welcome to the shot. I unlocked the full Infinity Watch quite recently. I'm enjoying using the team. So Infinity Watch, it's a good team. But if you are a new player, it gets to a point that it's not worth investing anymore. Did you watch Petro Bill in... No, no, I don't watch Taco Shooter. We're supposed to be getting Marvel Zombies this year. Complete Undying Team. I, I'm not sure about it. Save Incursion... I mean, you can save Incursion Energy, but you can also spend Power Cores to, for the other energy for the other event, because it will be incursion energy and campaign energy. So it might be better to, to do the campaign energy. From Archangel, okay, it looks like it's an overload issue. So many are trying to log in to get the trash rewards. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Sir Naughty. Thank you, thank you, yeah. JL plates meet, yeah, yeah. The game is crashing for everyone. Okay, so there we go. If you care about diamonds on Juggernaut, which I definitely do, uh, prepare for this upcoming event, where the only thing you can spend is power cores. So, yeah. Ability Toast for Peter B. Parker, okay. Login campaign for uh, what? Welcome, okay. Welcome campaign, another one. Penny Parker, Peter B. Parker. Spider pa Pavit. Season 7 of Cosmic Crucible, okay. We're going to talk about this in a second. What is this? The Cabal on defense. Oh, this is the Cosmic Crucible rules. Okay, so Cosmic Crucible rules. We're going to talk about that in a second. Panda Pool. Panda Pool. Information on Panda Pool. Cute and cuddly does, <laughs> doesn't begin to describe the power of Panda Pool. No, really. Is deadly gig gigant pool with katanas, grenade launcher, what people want more. So they really went to full troll on Panda Pool. So yeah, Panda Pool is coming this patch. So the legendary is coming next patch. So we have the three spider characters. We have Panda Pool. And then we have the next patch with a, with a new legendary character. So it's not like a, a two months patch. It's like one month and a half patch. Any grave diggers here? <laughs> welcome, the Arctic will not insult you. Yikes. Tormento Todd, welcome back. Little Falker, welcome back. When is this event for Juggernaut going to drop? Uh, we can expect like two weeks. Might not be the, the upcoming week, but the week after. The week after. Also having lag. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the game right now is struggling. Okay, so Spider Pavit. Okay. Congratulations. You have earned all character shards for this event. Great. Spider Society. So this is the upcoming event. It's like an incursion event. To test out the characters. Age of X. This is another event. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Okay, this is just, uh, yeah, this is a fake maintenance announcement. It's something that they always do. We don't have a, a whenever they don't have a plan and a maintenance, they push it back to, to a previous date. 
Coming soon, lose a thread. Ok. No information on that yet. Age of X. Age of X, ok, cool. Experience the dawning of Age of X. So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But if you are getting Age of X, we might also get the... Um, we might also get the... Danger Room. Danger Room. So, based on these data mines, I don't see anything about the Danger Room. But it should be coming. Machines of War. Nature. Nurture. Atomic Fallout. Rise of the Bees. Spin Power Cores and Plane Cosmic Crucible. So, once again, this is the one for uh, Zombie Juggernaut Diamonds. Campaign Energy. Campaign Energy. Age of X. Infectus. Age of X. Arachnid. Loose Threads. Okay, so... Still no information about the... Um, Danger Room. Traitor Spider Society. Web Slinger. As I said before, this Web Slinger trait, it was used for the Web Warriors Unlocked, I think. Long time ago. Spider Society. A skin for Wolverine. This is a skin based on the X-Men 97 series, which I definitely recommend you watching. Power cores for the new spider characters. Okay, unlock offers. Great catalyst, trash. Fake maintenance. What is this? Spider Society. These are the requirements for the, the new campaign. Title, characters upgrade. Frame. Frame. So we are going to get a frame for the... A frame for the X-Men 97 and a frame for the month event of uh, of April. So two new frames and finally we have upgrade token. This might be some change to the to the time ice or something. But maybe not. They talked about this upgrade token. This token requires commander level something. Uh, but yeah, this is supposed supposed to be a token that you can use on certain characters to push that character like to max level or something. Okay, those are all the data mines for today. Stacks, what's up, Stacks? Welcome back. Are you doing Dark Dimension 7 theory with the spy? Yeah, we can talk about it. We can talk about it. It's not the main goal of today's stream, but we can talk about it. People so quickly so quick to fight for scopely they aren't paying you yes yes arcane still dropped some donut crumbs on the servers i i think it's the dark grave tears we are still using out of time for the next legendary yes so cabal cabal was supposed to be the second part of the legendary requirement but uh, because they delayed the legendary character, because they delayed the legendary character, we might get... Um, because they delayed the legendary character, we might get the, the, the Spire Society team as the last requirement for the, the new legendary, right? Once again, it used to be out of time plus Cabal, but they cut the Cabal off. Now, we, we don't know if they're going to put Cabal again or if it's going to be the, the Spider Society. It might be Spider Society just to ma mess with people up. But we'll see. Thoughts on Photon for Dark Dimension 7? I have three diamonds on her. I think it's, uh, it's a must-have. It's a must-have. We don't have a lot of good options for uh, for cosmic. Most of the cosmic characters they are already outdated. Like even the the nowhere characters they are already outdated, and the kids are trash. So Thor or Star Lord, but I, if I had the option, I would not take either of them. Pendapool is supposed to be global, so it's not like these tags are going to help anything. 
Raid sim isn't working. In beta gives an error. Oh, that's not good. So what you should save now, power quarters and the campaign energy. Smash the like button. <laughs> Thank you. I hope so. I hope you guys smash the like button. Is MSF back? Yes, when I plays. Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's try to beat this guy. Did they change the Thanos empowered ultimate animation? No idea. The guy in Twitch chat was saying we shouldn't complain about the trash anniversary gift. Even thought I barely managed to upgrade one care. Yeah, no, the they always give power quarters. They always give power quarters on the anniversary, and this this time they didn't give any power quarters, so. This is definitely the worst event that uh, the, the worst anniversary gift we, we got in a while. No excuses for that. No excuses. Every year they always give power cores. This is the first time they, they didn't give power cores. Okay, let's ability block this scroll. Maybe. Maybe I should ability block the, the apocalypse. Even that we turn wind him a little bit might not be enough. Why? That was very stupid. I should have um, just ignored the, the scroll. Okay, let's apply stun to or stun. Apply stun to the Black Knight. Good, good, good. Let's smash this Morpho in the face. Great. And now let's see if my Black Knight solos the Nightcrawler. Craven in Arena. Have you guys seen this before? Probably yes. Okay, we're gonna be able to block that uh, guy over there. Nice. Craven now with his ultimate. No offense down. So we should get some nice damage. My Black Knight with his ultimate as well. It's not good to do ultimate back to back, but okay. Ooh, too much damage. We want too fast. We want too fast. Photon is so underrated. She was great in Dark Dimension 6. I agree. She has decent speed. She applies negative effects to the enemies like blind. What else do you want? When will Better Rebuild complete Dark Dimension 7? In uh, three weeks. Three weeks. According to what he said, he should complete it in around three weeks. Shouldn't we also save Incursion Energy for this six day event? You can save Incursion Energy if you want. In my opinion, Incursion Energy is useless because I already have all characters at 700 stars. If you want, it's up to you. But there are two events that you can spend energy for. So for me, I'm going to spend energy on the other event, on non-incursion event. If it gives me some bio gear or catalyst or whatever, I prefer that to spending energy on the incursion campaign. How many cards they give in the past? So on the past anniversary, it was always 444, 555, and this year it should be 666 power cores. I want a T4s. Yeah, we didn't got any T4s, we didn't got any power cores, which, uh, which is definitely a, a shaft. Focus, welcome back. Talonix, multiple anomaly detected. Yeah, everyone's struggling with that right now. Everyone is having multiple anomaly detected. We have two minutes left, man. I want too fast. And now I'm going to get catapulted to rank 10 or something. Especially when the people from my arena shard watch the stream just to see when I attack uh, in arena. Okay, let's see if you are on a good seed. We need a gold on the left or purple in the middle. Or a double blue. Ooh. Gold on the sides. Okay, I think this is a good seed. Erna Milky, do you want to open the orbs? This is a good sign. Maybe maybe it's a bait. No, I don't, I think it's a, a decent seed, maybe. Erna Milky. Okay, let's open a few more. It might just be a bite. Purple. Oof. I'm not sure about it. 
Not looking so good anymore. Great three errors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want a black hat. <laughs> Pole dancing costume. Yikes. I love these Mephisto themed skins. Yeah, I hope we can get more of them in the future, right? We got just three of them for the seven deadly scenes. So, so we should be missing four of them. Lost an attack in war because the game keeps crashing. We didn't get uh, DPCs last year. We got DPCs. Yeah, but DPCs they are not worth uh, DPCs they are not worth the same as power cores. Like power cores are way more worth than uh, DPCs. Neymar in war one shots entire teams with Gigantum. Yes, yes. Yes, it's possible. Margie Alex, welcome back. I feel the last uh, two incursion energy events were com completable without hoarding. So the last one, we had to blitz as well. That's why some people completed it. It, it was because you could also blitz. But the one before that, uh, you had to hoard a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. When you click on incursion energy, I don't know. I, I guess you can buy charges someday. Crazy anniversary gift. Get one character from 95 to 99. Yeah. No, I, I don't think so. I, I I mean, I don't know. Null, Null could be coming next year. Null could be still part of Dark Dimension 8. Null could be still coming on Dark Dimension 8. I don't really trust this seed. The game is really lagging a lot. Finally unlock a Iron Patriot today. Awesome and awesome. Congratulations. Adam Warlock Mephisto skin would be awesome. I don't know that version of Adam Warlock, but uh, we'll see it. Dallas sign with a good seed. Yes. Yes, I'll sign. You have a good seed. Yes. Pulling a 3 million gold and a 1 million gold is definitely a good seed. The game seems super unstable. I agree. You're gonna check that seed. Okay, there we go. She the she the second <laughs> seed is shaken up. Today is difficult. No sieve sieve three. No no. It's not the case. We we had one of the invoices explaining. Professor X is part of Dark Dimension 8, but he's not the final reward of Dark Dimension 8. He's not the final reward. So once again, in from my interpretation, based on what the invoice said, based on what the invoice said, they broke the NDA and they said that um, you're going to progress to through Dark Dimension 8 and you're going to be able to get shards for Professor X. So you might be able to unlock him early, but you'll only get him to 7 stars when you go to Dark Dimension 8. But he's not the final reward of Dark Dimension 8. Shaking your seed like uh, <laughs> only... Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe they, maybe they will rework uh, some of the old... Uh, Yes, Germano, that would be definitely cool. I agree with that. Okay, let's see what rank we got from the arena. Happy anniversary. Like, the anniversary was great for new players. I think I got like, uh, what? Oh, we got rank 2, great. Rank 2, that's lovely. Rank 2, that's lovely. And they still didn't refresh the store. Let's buy some of this junk. Let's see. Last chance. Come on, bro. Give me a good seed. I need gold. I need everything. Okay, that pool is good. Is good. I think we're going to go with this seed. Purple on the sides. We need gold on, on the left side. Double blue in the middle with the Deadpool Orchestral. 
Juggernaut, no. We got one dead pool, we need to get another one. Otherwise, it's it's just a bait. But the game is lagging too much. Doing C theory like this, it's impossible. That's good. I prefer non-dark dimension release for such a big character. Yeah, I think so. I think so. It's not a good idea to lock it behind the Dark Dimension Knight. I saw FK Journey downloaded. Was Artgrave lonely? No, so I, I explained this yesterday. The, the guys from FK Arena, they contacted me many times to promote their game. But I was not able to, to download it. But I, I don't think I will open it even. Usually I op I download games, but then I don't even uh, touch them. Okay, since Ernie Milky doesn't want to show up, we're going to open these diamonds. Maybe she fell asleep. Why give out castle shards if she's a Dark Dimension reward? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense, right? It's dumb. It's more like rich. So I don't like that type of games. Games that you have to to wait is just not for me. Okay, we have 14 gold orbs. Let's see if you are lucky. I need tons of gold. We are waiting Ernie Milky to to get her ass up. Okay, here we go. Okay, you can pee first, yes. Okay, one million gold, nice. You are already here, why don't you open now? Okay, we have two diamonds. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, first diamond orb. It's a blue. Rescue, okay, rescue not good. Okay, let's go for the second one. Okay, are you ready? Focus. Three, two, one. Last diamond orb. Another blue. Agatha. Okay, I guess, I guess. It's not bad, it's just duplicate. Next time, next time. It's my fault, okay. It's my fault. Okay, at least you got diamonds on, uh, on Night Nurse. Oh, the dairy soup? Okay, then you should eat. Okay, let's get some more gold, please. We need gold. No. You have bad luck. You just saw that you had bad luck. No, no, there is no orbs to open. No. <laughs> Yikes. Use Doom in a match. Yeah, yeah, use Doom in a match and she's gonna wake up, yeah. It was not rescue, it was Night Nurse, yeah, Night Nurse. What use for... Yes, restream, yes. Happy Easter weekend from Canada. Happy Easter for you too, Ted Bocot. Welcome back. Okay, so let's see. At least we got the 1 million gold. At least we saved the day with 1 million gold. Night Nurse to the Moon. She was very good. In the past, when she got a rework, Night Nurse was super meta. People even took Dark Night Nurse to Dark Dimension 4 or something. You have to use Val in a match. <laughs> because she is woke. Okay, we have 60 diamonds over there. But we have nothing to buy. That's the problem now. We have nothing to buy. Okay, there we go. Night Nurse, now with diamonds. Another waifu from uh, long ago. Okay, so what you guys want to do? Uh, we do the water. I'm afraid of doing water. We can check the Cosmic Crucible rules. Or we can check the spider characters to see if they are going to be good for uh, 
for that dimension or not. Oh my, oh my god, this game is lagging like hell. They celebrate Easter in Canada. Yeah, that's an interesting question, right? Three diamonds on long shot. I mean, long shot, he has a very good kit. So if he gets a rework, like, it could be a, a good character. He's not good today, but he was very good in the past. And if they rework him, he could be, could be very good as well. Okay, no T4s. And we have all this junk to open. Let's see. Uh, Sinpool, are you still in the chat? Do you have the file with the Cosmic Crucible rules or not really? I'm not sure if any envoy made the, the Cosmic Crucible rules available. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. Yeah, I'm still looking for my Spider Slayer Diamonds. Okay. Moving on. Let me just check my red energy. Yeah, we have to do a few raids first. Don't do war because of the lag. Yeah, yeah, true. Doing war with lag is, is not a good idea. PG is blaming players for lags and crash because logging a lot to open the orbs. Who is PG? You mean mobile gamer? Valley and uh, yeah, yeah. So I have the, the I have that video open. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna check out on the video. It was working and then poof, another crash. Soci Spy society in raids. So the Spider Society, they are getting a rework already. They are so bad that they are already reworking them. You can send the Cosmic Crucible rules. That would be great, Sinpool. Who is your team? I'm not sure. So I, I think some people are misled about the... So everyone is, is saying by Frost. But by Frost in terms of stats... They don't compare with uh, Extreme X Men, for example. So, Bifrost is very strong, 100%. But uh, Extreme X Men, they scale way better, like, way better. Like, I, I saw the Dorky Dead Mobile Gamer video, and they were saying, oh, <laughs> Bifrost, Bifrost. Like, bro, what are you talking about? They have Loki and they have Sylvie. They all dead weight on that team. And Team Loki as well. They have three dead weight characters on that team. Did he forgot? Did he forgot they are going to get safeguard on the Extreme X-Men when the Forge does that ultimate? Did he forgot that, that Extreme X-Men gets 175% extra damage for for uh, for Sunspot, like, bro, what are you talking about? You are still crying about uh, last year meta of, uh, of Raid in Crucible? I, I, I honestly, I don't understand what the envoys are doing. It seems like they are sleeping or something. Anton, what's up? You, you are my war opponent, the pirates from Russia. Yeah, I usually have a few of them here. Good Friday morning. Oh, yeah, yeah, tomorrow is, yeah, everything is closed tomorrow here. AA, not PG. Of Nazare, welcome back. What you missed? You missed a bunch of crashes. A bunch of crashes. Updog has a video on it. Yeah, Updog needs to learn to spice up his videos. He talks way too slow and uh, he gets distracted easily. So sometimes his videos are a little bit unwatchable. Don't go for a fight. The game is crashing as hell. Yeah.
Extreme gets owned by Pegasus on defense in Dorky's video. Okay, Extreme get, gets owned by Pegasus, but not by Bifrost. Extreme doesn't get a turn. So I'm, I'm a little bit surprised by that. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Because they have uh, they have the evades on spawn, no? They have evades on spawn. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I, I yes, that seed beated by frost. Yes, that seed beated by frost. Battery Bill was using extreme Black Knight, and Black Knight was carrying nodes. With his retaliations in Dark Dimension 7. Yeah, if you have diamonds on him, yeah. Yeah, Sylvie gets turn meter, but it, it's not a problem. The king from our alliance is usually here too. Awesome, man, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Up dog, he needs some cocaine every time he does his videos, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you, Sinpool. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the Cosmic Crucible rules. And then uh, we'll take a look um, at the Spider Society for Dark Dimension. Okay, so one, uh, two. And I have nothing against Updog. I like the guy. But... Uh, It takes way too long to talk. Okay, so one, two. Stage three. Stage four and five. And stage six. Okay, so in total it's like three, five. Okay, cool. Big shout out to Sinpool. Thank you very much for... Uh, Providing the the crucible rules. Read Sylvie ultimate. Yeah, ultimate. She gets speed bar and turning winds the enemies. Yes. Spider Society on incursion three. Yeah, they already announced the rework for Spider Society. He gets. Uh, yes. Okay, so Cosmic Crucible Season Rules. Season 7. Opinion on Kitty Pride and Colossus Rework? Trash. Trash, trash, trash. Colossus Passive is absolute trash. The fact that they didn't open the passive for everyone. So they, they want you to rework, they want you to put Kitty Pride together with Colossus, but then Colossus doesn't provide health to Kitty Pride. So I, I don't like the reworks. I geared up the characters. I actually geared up the characters, you guys can see. I geared up the characters, I test the characters on my own, own diamond. But it's not good. It's not good. I ate all the, all the issues on Spider Society was Ghost Spider Kit. No, it's absolutely not true, like... Yes, yes. There is a problem with Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider always had a problem against characters with blocked chance. But it's not the only problem. They were testing characters at level 100. 5 yellow, 5 red, level 100. Can you afford that? Can I afford that? Definitely not. So, tell me. Who's gonna have a team at 5 yellow, 5 red, level 100? They want to participate in the raids. And this team is gonna take 3 months, it's gonna take minimum 3 weeks if not six, for you to unlock it, free to play or with offers. Now each character has around a 12-day timer. So that's going to be minimum four to five weeks. So I'm not sure. Who is, the, who is this team for? To get a team at level 100 right away? I'm not sure about it. Five yellow, five red, and team is struggling. It's not only it's not only Ghost Spider. Happy anniversary, Commanders! Yeah, the, the trash rewards. 
Since Artgrave is gone, is the Vampire team cancelled? I don't think so, I hope not. The front page of MSF Reddit is all posts about uh, the trash gift and the game crashing, not a good anniversary. Yeah, it was absolute trash. Camouflage so the haters can see you. <laughs> it was a Christmas gift from Erna Milky. Yeah, yeah, it feels like another Invaders. It feels like an another Invaders. If you need a team at 5 yellow, 5 red in order for them to be playable, you cannot even seem. That's the thing, like, you cannot even seem with that team. 5 yellow, 5 red, level 100. It's not level 95. We are talking about level 100. Over 6 million extra gold for that team to be playable. It's not seemable, it's playable. So saying that the problem is only Ghost Spider, no, it's not the case. It, the team is trash, like, let's be honest. Even with insane stats that they have, the team overall is trash. It's not as bad as Invaders, but it's not great. Unless, unless the team was made for the upcoming raid and the new raid will be super easy for them. It might be the, the scopely strategy. Artgrave is gone. Yeah, Artgrave said he's not going to do more MSF videos until they pay him. War is crashing every time. Karen Page to the moon. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Port quarters for Karen Page. I agree with that. Compensation for the trash, uh, yeah, once again, every other year we had also power quarters. And this time they didn't give us power quarters, they didn't give us diamonds, they didn't give us crimson gear, which I didn't expect. I didn't expect crimson gear, but they literally didn't give anything to us. It's, it's only for new players. If you are a new player, if you started playing the game yesterday, it's a great gift for you. And they gave us castle shards which we get castle for free from Dark Dimension 1, like... It's so ridiculous, it's, it's nonsensical, it's really nonsensical. The new raid should not have... Uh, cleanse tunes faster than Penny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the team... Uh, or they really expect us to use a different setup of Iso 8, or the team just, just doesn't, doesn't make any sense. Okay, let's create a new team. Let's create a new team. We finally know the release of Panda Pool. So Panda Pool is coming this patch. Maybe Domino Rework. This is going to be the next legendary team. And they are going to be released after the Spider Society. So we got out of time. We got X-Men Rework, Cabal. Spider Society and then uh, Panda Pool and Friends. No power core since uh, yeah yeah yeah. There is a power core event coming up uh, soon within the next two weeks. So be careful with your power cores. They should have given ultra cores. They could give ultra cores like uh, they could give like what sixty six ultra cores. 66 Ultra Quarters is $5, $6. It would not break the bank. I actually think that would be a great idea. For them to give 66 Power Quarters to everyone. It's $5 of, of gold or something. It's not a lot. It's like 2 million gold extra. Maybe. Since it's the devil and everything has been 66. They should have given us... 666 power cores based on previous years. Okay, let's talk about the Cosmic Crucible rules. Once again, big shout out to Scene Pool for sharing this with us. So, Cosmic Crucible Season 7, Cabal rules. Okay, on defense and on offense, character Cabal characters with vulnerable on successful hit. Apply vulnerable to a maximum of 5. When below 25% health, characters do 200% damage. Lower the armor by 50%. Lower the armor of who? So I watched the video of Mobile Gamer and Dorky Dead, and they said they lowered their own armor 
That sounds a little bit strange. So I, I don't like these rules. 25% is very, very low. When below 25% health, gain 200% damage and lower the armor. Lower the armor of who? Its own armor? By, I don't know. Okay, anyway, I don't like this type of rules. 20, 25% is very difficult to keep. So, or you want to use characters with revive like Dormammu. Or you want to use characters that have a lot of death proofs. Because otherwise it's very difficult to capitalize on, uh, on these abilities. Villain characters on turn, if, if any Cabal characters are allies, barrier for 10%. So once again, we saw on my video the other day that you can split the Cabal characters in three different teams. So maybe you want to use these. But 10% barrier, like this is nothing. Like This is a nothing burger. Corner Chairman, welcome back. This season is not only buffs, it has nerfs too. A trade-off. Yeah, but it's it's not clear. And 25% health, you get more damage, like you get more likely to, to die. So the only way you can if it lowers your own armor, the only way you can capitalize on these is characters with a safeguard and death proof, like Black Cat. There is like a handful of characters that can benefit from these. Or you need to have a character like Gambit with a, with a Nightcrawler, maybe with Apocalypse. So you have so much health that the 25% margin is actually like 1.5 million health or more. CC rules suck. Yeah, yeah, I'm not uh, super excited about it. This barrier is, is so useless. And this vulnerable on successful hit, but it's only for Cabal characters, like it's not for anyone. Cabal. Ca so once again, on defense and on offense, Cabal characters with vulnerable on successful hit do more damage. Is this what? For, for the leader to do more damage or Namor? It's dumb. If it was like 50% or 40%, maybe, maybe. This is, and it's just three characters. What? So, yeah, forget about this. This is trash. Meaningless. Absolutely meaningless. Oh, my God. So stupid. Okay, let's take a look at the rules for the room one and two. Full house. On defense and on offense, characters with a striker... Ability block. So striker characters with ability block do 50% more damage. It prevents cancer rooms like uh, room 1 extreme with rogue. Cabal will be dead before they can use their own buffs. I agree, I agree. It, it doesn't make sense. Game is being worked on by Lori for crashes. Also Lori informed they are holding back on CC season payout to do the issue. Excuses, excuses. Go check the CC rankings. What's up with the CC rankings? I don't see anything on the CC rankings. Are they bugged out or something? They should have made it villain buff season. All the villains do extra stuff. I agree, I agree. These global rules are completely useless. Is there a hacker? I don't see any hacker. You mean like... Uh, rocks? Oh, wow. Yeah, rocks with 3,000 points. Yeah, it might be a bug. Might be a bug. I don't think this guy is a, a hacker, but uh, he's from the Black Alliance. So we know these guys are a little bit crazy. But I'm not sure what happened. I'm not sure. Maybe some bug. Oh, this guy, 26 million TCP. So this is why they are holding back the rewards. 
It's because the ranking is all messed up. Okay, moving on. Just got promoted to Platinum 2. Awesome, congratulations. Tina Butler, what do you think about uh, X being added? X being an uh, end character? The price would be Sentinels? Oh, that would be very cool, Tina Butler. That would be a great idea. That would be a great idea. 607, what's up? Uh, <laughs> Happy anniversary, more bugs, yes. Yeah, yeah, I saw, yes. Yeah, there, there are two or three players there with uh, the wrong ranking. Yeah, the, comp the, the rewards are trash, yeah. Absolutely, trash rewards. Okay, so once again, room one. Strike a characters with ability block will do 50% more damage. Okay. Raider characters on turn. If this character... If character has ability block, clear ability block and heal self for 10% of health. On turn, if character has ability block, clear ability block and heal self for 10%. On turn, okay, so on turn, on turn. On a successful attack, apply ability block. Oh my god, this is so garbage. This is so garbage. This is so garbage, man. Is there any character? What? This is so trash. So they don't want you to use any characters as strikers. Did they remove ability to open all orbs? Yes, yes. Community manager Archangel was saying that opening all the orbs at the same time was crashing the game. Should I build Namor? Yes, yes. You can use the Cabal as a three-piece team or you can use the Cabal individually. So, yes, you should definitely build Cabal. Fart's Grave can now fart in his own grave. That's how much... He <laughs> digged it too deep. But does the ability block clear... If they have trauma, no, if they have trauma, no, no, no. Okay, so in my opinion, what this means is that they don't want you to use any characters with striker isolate. I think this is what it means. They want you to use characters with ability with a skirmisher and raider. Which is kind of garbage. Let's be honest, this is kind of garbage. Using a character as a striker, like I really don't know who would be a good striker. Maybe Venom. Venom as a striker would be good. But uh, you are losing all the other abilities. Like You don't have a lot of options here. And this is going to mess up a lot of people's offense. Kang. So for example, Kang. Kang could still be a striker. Because he flips the, the negative effects into positive effects. So Nightcrawler could be a striker, but no, of course not. He's not a striker. So there are a few characters that can benefit of these. But uh, it's 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 not a good room rule, in my opinion. The, the Raider and Skirmisher, they are good, but the striker is not very good. What if Force to use on the Kabbalah? Alti Force except the basics. Force Raider will be a thing. Yeah, I guess for the Raider will be a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Art Grave could be a backup dancer for Merlin Mason. I mean, Art Grave now is very successful in in uh, Instagram. You guys didn't heard? He made one video on Instagram that got like uh, five thousand reactions. So he's very famous on Instagram now. Like Extreme X Men rumor. So I mean, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the teams that we had recently. Which teams use a lot of Raiders? So, I mean, the, the Kebab team could be full Raider. Full Raider and Skirmisher to apply ability blocks to everyone. Out of time, they are too slow. 
it could be Hive Mind team as well. They have some skirmishers. So, for example, Void Knight is skirmisher. He's gonna push everyone together and the ability to block everyone. Then Extreme X Men. Extreme X Men is nice, but uh, they have a lot of raiders, but they don't have a lot of skirmishers. So I would avoid Extreme X Men on this room. Sinister Six, Superior Six. We could see them being strong on this room because they have some raiders and definitely some uh, skirmishers as well. So that would be nice too. Pegasus, they don't have a lot of skirmishers, so probably not. They have some riders. Black Order, riders, not skirmishers. Black Hat skirmisher. Robbie Ray skirmisher. Robbie Ray skirmisher could be very interesting. He loses some of the damage, but he has so many turns that he's going to spam ability blocks left and right. Hard Light. Oh, this is amazing. So Hard Light turn one. She goes and she ab ability blocks three characters right away. Did you see from uh, Diamond Orb, seven red star duplicate? Doesn't give seven red star orbs anymore. It gives now elite credits. Wow, that's garbage. But wasn't it always like that? I'm actually not sure. I have not opened one of those orbs in a long time. Unlimited with Jubilee on room one. Un Unlimited with Dazzler, yes. Unlimited with Dazzler and Jubilee. I could see that happening, yeah. Robbie goes on room 6. I, I, I don't think Robbie goes on room 6. I think room 6 is is a, a trap. Is a bait. It's a bait. For people less experienced to put Robbie Rice there. Uh, so yeah, we could see some... So Dazzler, Dazzler is going to be a queen of uh, Cosmic Crucible this season. That's for sure. So once again, once again, guys, skirmisher characters on successful attack apply ability block to everyone. And Dazzler, she gets speed bar whenever unlimited get negative effects. So Dazzler could go very early and ability block all your enemies. So you'd be forced to switch all your characters to riders to mitigate this ability. And once again, I think Hive Mind here would be also very strong. Because of Void Knight Skirmisher, pulls everyone together and the ability blocks everyone as well. So we could see something like that. In my opinion, in my opinion. Okay, so I think we can move on to the next room, right? In terms of other characters. New Warriors. So I always used my New Warriors with Gwen Pulu. Gwenpool is also going to be very strong on room 1 because if you have her as a skirmisher, which I did not everyone uses her as a skirmisher, but I think it's a good option so she could ability block everyone and then fire started just decimating everyone that could also be interesting we are going in order, we are still on room 1 Let's see the apocalypse, yes, let's see the applying blind to everyone and ability block to everyone. Yes, that would be great too. That would be super killer. Ability block and blind to everyone. No, I, I would just ignore the, the striker characters. 50% more damage if you are ability blocker. I think it's a bait. It's, I don't think it's a good idea. Applying AOE ability block with skirmishers might be a bad thing. Your opponent goes in uh, all raider. I mean, you can go all raider, but you can also going all raider is not uh, is not a problem. They only lap. They only lap from raider if they have ability block, and it's ten percent max health, so you cannot really abuse from it. Gamora, yeah, Gamora could be a good option. Yes. But I'm not sure if you can ability block them more easily. They have immunity on spawn and then they have evade. So it would be it would be very difficult to ability block them more. And dying here.
and dying here. I'm not sure. I guess I guess Hella will always spread the uh, ability block for everyone. So yeah, we might see a lot of uh, Magnetos. Sylvie, Sylvie in uh, specific situations could also be good if you are not using her on the raid room because she also goes early on and she can ability block everyone. Spider-Man 2099 is also a skirmisher, is also going to ability block everyone. So a lot of options, a lot more options for offense than for defense. Okay, let's take a look at uh, room uh, two rules. Raid on Crucible. This room counts as raids, lower the resistance and healing by 50%. So once again, we are talking about uh, ex we are talking about extreme. We are talking about uh, by frost. We are talking about. Um, Pegasus, but the team that might be the the champion of this room might be the the kebab team, the the Spider Society team. They might be the ones that uh, that dominate this room because their stats are just massive. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll analyze the kebab team in a second. But they might be the ones that dominate this room because Scopely always gives advantage to the whales. So why not do it again? Invaders. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, let's move on. Let's take a look at uh, stage three. Agroed. All characters on turn. If this character has taunt, gain offense up. On turn. Apply assist now to all characters with offense up. Ooh, yikes. Yikes. Oof. Oh, this is very good. But it's only on turn. Oh, so it's not as good. It's not as good. It's not as good. It's good, but not good. It's still strong. It's still strong. So which characters would be useful here? Once again, new warriors with uh, Gwen Pulu. Undying. Undying would be very strong on this room. Out of time, out of time, I have two characters with taunt. So, yeah, like having Black Knight with offense up all the time, it's going to be problematic for sure. Now, we have to remember that uh, this, these bonus abilities, it also works for the... Um, for teams with just offense up. Like, if the team has offense up natively, it's also going to get assists. So in the past, we had the um, secret defenders being used on this type of rooms. It's not going to be the case because Robbie Reyes only uses his ultimate on the second turn. So he's not going to have offense up. So they cannot assist. Our light will still assist, but not the other guys. So we need to take a look. Or characters with a lot of towns. Or characters that get offense up natively to get this assist. Or characters that get offense up on spawn. Undying with Omega Red on room 1. Omega Red applying Trauma ability block to... Can Ella spread the Trauma? I, I, I'm, I never tested that. I'm not sure if she can spread Trauma. So by the entire Spire Society... Yeah, the Spire Society, they are going to be trashed in raids, but they are going to be great in Crucible. In Crucible, they will be great. On turn, if his character gains offense up, I don't remember which teams have offense up on spawn. But the, the offense up on spawn is going to be more important than the offense up on town. Gamma, Blizzard. Yes, yeah, Sinister Six, yes. Sinister Six here are going to be very strong. Sinister Six on defense. Yeah, Lizard, Rhino, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can use Spider Slayer, right? Spider Slayer or Shocker. They give offense up. So, yeah. Sinister Six on this room, very, very strong. Like, Sinister Six, they are already super strong. But with offense up and assist now. Oh, Lizard, Lizard here is so good. Damn, Lizard here is, is crazy. So, do you understand this, right? Lizard does his ultimate. 
he gains taunt and all the positive effects that he has on himself, he spreads for everyone else. So he's going to spread the offense up even without Shocker or uh, Spider Slayer or anything. He taunts, he gains offense up, he spreads the offense up for everyone and then everyone assists. He's actually quite crazy. So yeah, absolutely, wow. This is going to be crazy. Sinister 6 or Superior 6 on defense on this room is going to be absolutely monstrous. I was sad that I got 3 diamonds on my lizard. I'm not so sad anymore. Not so sad anymore. Echo might do a comeback. Yeah, Echo could do a comeback, but uh, Echo versus Sinister 6, I think they're gonna get, she gets destroyed easily. Unless people are gonna take Echo to gear tier 18. Scroll Sinister 6, counter. Let's see. Uh, yeah, but he's using Spider Slayer, like, well. Yes, yes. It's cheap, but um, I'm not sure if I would set up the team like this. And uh, you know what? Uh, you can also... The thing... So, yeah. He, the Dorky Dad puts full superior 6 on defense. And... Uh, and of course, then Skrull can beat Superior 6. That's nothing new, right? So, if characters with Taunt gain offense up, why not replace like Spider Slayer with Black Knight? How, how is Darky Dad going to counter that after? If you put Superior 6 with Black Knight, then good luck. That's If, I'm, if I would set up my defense right now, that's the team I would set up. Black Knight plus Superior 6. Because, yes, Scroll counters Superior 6, but uh, Black Knight would counter Scroll. Kirill, welcome back. Lord Richard, welcome back. Unlimited Gamma on Room 3 would be good as well. Unlimited with Bishop. I can see that. Yeah, I'm not even sure if you need Rhino. I would just use Black Knight there. The ability might not uh, work simultaneously. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see about that. It requires some testing. I will see the, the Dorky Dead video of the testing and see if it works or not. Hulk gains offense up on turn whenever someone goes below 50%. Yes, yes. Gamma would be very strong here too. Yeah, absolutely. Gamma doesn't die, guys. Gamma is one of those teams. Someone said that they got three diamonds on, uh, on She-Hulk. Gamma is not going to die anytime. Gamma with Dormammu got me a win on this last match of yesterday. Yeah, yeah, I understand, Malorian. Yeah, I understand. But we have to see how it works. There is the way it says. There is the way it does. And then there is the way it works in-game after when it's live. Okay, so let's move on to the other team. Unstable Energy. On defense and on offense. Villains. On defense and on offense, villain characters, ultimate ability costs two less, only villains. Lower the max health by 25%. Ultimate ability costs two less for villains only. Okay, let's see what kind of villains are we working with. Villains only. Okay, so we have um, Dark Hold, we have uh, Sinister Six. Sinister Six here could also be good because they have a lot of health bonus. 
Dr. Octopus gives 40%, Mysterio gives 20%, Green Goblin gives another 20%. So it's, it's just like you are losing 20% of one character, which is not a big deal. So Superior 6 or a Sinister 6 Hybrid might be the best combo. Characters with powerful ultimates that don't have full energy on spawn. Lady Death Strike, Omega Red. N uh, Namor, he already has the ultimate ready. Super Scroll. The leader, the leader spawning with the ultimate. The leader here would be nice because it allows Neymar to do his ultimate back to back. That would be interesting too. Mm. Okay, we have some options. I think the best option is still Superior 6, some kind of Superior 6. Mysterio is going to be spamming his, his ultimate all the time. Lady Electro, maybe Lady Electro would be interesting too. Her ultimate with less to energy would be very powerful. So we have some characters, not a lot, but some characters for sure. Yeah, I think those would be the characters with... Um... So or Cabal or some Sinister Six Hybrid. Omega Red is too slow, so unless you are using Scroll, Omega Red doesn't make sense. And Scroll, he starts with his ultimate after. That would not be good either. Spider Slay would be interesting to one shot one character right away. Sylvie, you could also use Sylvie here with her ultimate turn one. So there are some interesting options for sure. Apocasy there. Yeah, Apocasy there would definitely be interesting. Black Order with Doctor Doom or uh... yeah, so Cabal with Doctor Do with Cabal with um... with Thanos. Cabal with Thanos would be very very strong. What do you think, VNM? Black Order with Cabal or at least Cabal uh, Black Order with the leader. You don't even have to use full Black Order, just the leader and Black Order. Should I take Infinity Watch to Gear T17? I would not take Infinity Watch to Gear T17 today. I would wait. Wait because I don't think uh, Infinity Watch this season has a good room. Yeah, so I, I agree. I think the leader with the Black Order would be very, very strong. Black Order with Duma. I would prefer Black Order with the leader. The leader is going to give 50% more health, 50% more armor, and he, got, he gives 3 energy to, to Thanos. So Thanos would probably do his ultimate two times. So that would be that would be massive. Like Black Order here, I think VNM is going to go Grand Masters with his Black Order and with the leader. Aaron, to me, this makes more sense. To let the offensive player use villain team. Extreme here, so... Yeah, yeah, that, that's also a possibility, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's also a possibility. No, ulti uh, is Thanos ultimate turn 1 or he ultimates turn 2? I still think he ultimates turn 2, not turn 1. Would you replace on... Uh, Yes, Proxima, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, like, like Thanos and, and the leader now is one of the best combos. Thanos and the leader now is really, really good combo. No, so you see, you see, so Thanos ultimates still turn two. This is great, man. So Thanos ultimates turn two. And, uh, but I think he has two turns before the leader has one turn because he gets a bunch of speed bar. So you might still want to use uh, Proxima for the speed up. 
So we might have to test this one out to see which one is better. Because you want to have Thanos having two turns and then the leader doing his ultimate. You don't want the leader to go too fast, otherwise uh, you waste uh, energy. Infinity Watch was made for room 5. Uh, we have not reached room 5 yet. Yeah. Okay, but this, this looks interesting, and I like this combo of Cabal with uh, with Thanos. Because once again, the Black Order will get 50% more health, 50% more armor, they get additional crit chance, and they get additional crit damage. Elden Void, hey, I quitted playing two years ago, when Black Order was sick and Infinity Watch was coming out, Symbiotes were my raid team. Any recommendations on what I should focus on first? I mean, when you are coming back to the game, it's always better to focus on the on the raid teams and then catch up slowly to war teams, crucible teams, and so on. But always remember, don't try to, to rush, otherwise you're going to feel frustrated. So focus on your raid teams and, and then on your crucible teams, war teams, and so on. And the read now is important as well. If you go to my Discord, there is a link on uh, on my videos. If you go to my Discord, there is a tier list of the characters that are meta right now, which you can focus on. And maybe I'll be able to show it. So you go to my Discord. Once again, the link in the description of the videos. And you can find this one. Diamond tier list as well. And yeah, you can always ask for uh, information. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the rules for room number five. Flashbang, flashbang. On defense and on offense. All characters with blind. So if a character has blind, lower their speed and armor by 25%. All characters with blind lower their speed and armor by 25%. So is this like Death Seed Room? Is there any other team that applies blind? Ultimate abilities apply blind to the primary target. Eh, I guess. Okay. Ultimate abilities apply blind to the primary target. So we need... Teams that have a lot of ultimates turn one, right? This room is not like obvious. My OCD is kicking in with all those notifications. Notifications of what? So this is interesting. Characters with blind have lower speed and armor. Ultimate abilities apply blind. Pegasus. But Pegasus on this room, they are they don't do their ultimates, they do their specials. Okay, let's take a look. Maybe maybe the symbiotes? Characters with ultimates available turn one. But they only apply blind to the primary target. So Captain America here would be nice to apply blind. We have Void Knight, we have Venom. We have Red Goblin, we have Carnage. All of them start with their ultimate. Extreme only Forge starts with his ultimate. We have some superior seeds that start with the ultimate, but not all. XLR hating, what's up? Any idea when Black Knight goes into the Mega Orbs? Ooh, not anytime soon. Black Knight on the Mega Orbs, not anytime soon, if ever. I think he is never going to the Mega Orb. Dark Old with the Black Knight. On, on five. 
Yeah, Dark World, they start with a lot of ultimates, right? You have Wong, starts with his ultimate, Morgan of Fire ultimate, Agatha ultimate. So yeah, we could see something like this. Dark World, maybe could work here. I'm taking Black Knight, Black Order to level 100. I thought you already had Black Order at level 100, VNM. I thought we were uh, the... On your Discord with all those... Yes, yes. That's why I have been a little bit uh, burned out. It's with all the messages on Discord. And doing the, the recruiting for the Alliance and so on, it has been too much lately. Ultimate abilities create blinds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ultimate abilities apply blind to the primary target. Ultimate abilities apply... Yes. Infinity Watch. But... But Infinity Watch, they don't start with their ultimates. Only Nebula starts with the ultimate. And it's only to the primary target. Gamora starts with a special, Moondragon starts with a special, Adam Warlock starts with a special, Philavel starts with a special. So... Hive Mind could be interesting, because while the characters have blinded, you can just shred them until they get to 25% health. I think I've mind is going to be very strong on this room. Because think about it. Void Knight goes first. And uh, uses his ultimate. And you can use the ultimate to apply ability block and blind, okay? But you can uh, ability block and blind the character that you think is going to be causing the most problems. The Carnage starts also with his ultimate. Another blind. Then Red Goblin, also another blind. Rhino in that blind room. <laughs> yeah, Rhino in this room, yes. I mean, we could also use uh, Superior 6 here, right? It seems like Superior 6 was made to be on defense this season. Superior 6, they also start with a lot of ultimates. And Rhino, Rhino starts with his ultimate, and he clear, clears blinds from the enemies, and he gives speed bar, I think. That's it. Yeah, but uh, depending if they are on defense or on offense. We are talking about the, the Season 7 rules for Cosmic Crucible. Infestation on offense on Room 3. Everyone with offense up. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's a good idea, yeah. Quick draw, that's a good idea. Yeah, Infestation could make a return uh, on uh, on room 3, yes. Did anyone notice they removed the open... Yes, yes. It was not from this patch. It was just um, momentarily. It was just momentarily because they said way too many people opening orbs. And it was crashing all their trash servers. With their Celerons... Thermal throttling. Everyone in Pegasus starts with the ultimate? No, they don't. No one in Pegasus starts with ultimate except Kestrel. They only use their ultimates in raids, not uh, outside of raids. But yeah, yeah, there are a few teams. There are a few teams. I would rather use Infestation on 3 than Infestation on 5. Infestation on 3, I, I think it would be a, a little bit better. Dead Seed with Rhino. The problem with Dead Seed is that they have no stats. Like, the team is just so behind. In terms of stats. Okay, this one is going to require some more thinking. This one is going to require a little bit more thinking. I'll think about it like the, the five best teams for each room. 
and then we see if we can combine any of them or not and I also try to watch the the CC videos the invoice from the test server to see what the, how some rooms work crucible practice mod for yeah 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 but if if they make a crucible practice mod the invoice will have uh, no content to make video on the test server so it's not good for them this is why none of the invoices are pushing for a uh, for a uh, crucible testing it's because they they will not have any reason to use the test server anymore okay stage six crossroads on defense and on offense all characters on crit apply bleed to the primary target okay on crit apply bleed to the primary target oh my god this is so meaningless it's meaningless it's so meaningless if are you are you going to make your black cat rider serious question are you going to make your black cat rider for this room are you going to switch your uh, miss marvel art light for a rider if a ghost rider robbie race ghost rider or cosmic ghost rider is an ally and if character has bleed gain additional 20 percent armor what oh my god no what is this room this room Cabal with Robbie Reyes or Black Cat or out of time on six? I don't think so. On crit apply bleed. And we already know the retaliation attacks, they don't activate these effects. So that still needs to be tested if it works or not. Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider Robbie and Cosmic Ghost Rider apply 20% crit chance to allies. 20% crit chance to allies. Is this like to boost star brand? Maybe star brand here? But star brand is so garbage, it's so slow. Oh, I, I, I'm not sure what team to use. A team that benefits of having Ghost Rider. The ball out of time. Uh, yeah, I guess. So the bleed on primary target. This this is this is trash. Like it, it's almost meaningless. Almost meaningless. The Robbie race. So the Robbie race. It has a limitation on his kit. And this is this might be a super bait. Okay, I'm not sure how many people are aware of this. Robbie Race can only get speed bar for one bleed on each character. So for example, for example, you have Robbie Race Striker. You have Robbie Race Striker. On the basic, he applies bleed, and the striker has a weight applies bleed again, right? But because it's on the same target, he only gets 10% speed bar. He only gets 10% speed bar. So, because this applies bleed on primary target, if you are already using abilities that apply bleed, it will not count two times. It will not count two times. Will it help our light? Yes, it will help our light. But once again, are you going to make your hard light raider? I'm not sure. Is it going to help your photon? I'm not sure either. I'm not sure, like, Cosmic Ghost Rider and Out of Time team, they are way too slow for this room. They do a little... 
If any character has bleed, if Ghost Rider, Cosmic Ghost Rider, or uh, Robbie Reyes is an ally, and if this character has bleed, gain 20% more armor. I'm not sure what to use here. I've mined with Cosmic Ghost Rider. Uh, yeah, that, that would be a possibility. That would be a possibility. This room is, is, uh, is very... Um, I'm not sure if anyone will be able to capitalize on this room. 20% armor. It really depends on the team with armor. Like 20% armor on out of time. That's massive. That's very, very good. But 20% armor on uh, Infinity Watch, for example, is trash because they, they have stats from like two years ago. So I'm, I'm not sure. About, I, I really don't like this room six. They had seed in room five. Uh, yes, yes. That's definitely gonna, going, going to impact. Yes. Yeah. Magneto reducing the speed of everyone by 5%. Will make uh, the so you lowering the speed of the enemies by five percent is like your character is getting five more percent, right? So Dark Beast and Nemesis, those two characters are going to be way more powerful. Is that going to be enough to make the team good? I'm not sure. It will make your apocalypse faster, right? Five percent on apocalypse might make a difference. So let's see calculator. So, Apocalypse has 24. Five percent. So, Apocalypse will go from a speed of 124 to 130. So, Apocalypse is going to be very strong on this room. Dead Seed Apocalypse in this room, very strong. But yeah, you always have the chance to use Rhino. And, uh, and Sinister Six with Craven and Mysterio can counter Apocalypse. But, but it makes it very difficult. Because if you need Craven, Rhino, Mysterio, that's already three characters. The, the only thing is that... Uh, and then... Uh, yeah, I, I'm not sure. This is... It's definitely interesting. It's definitely interesting. But but Rhino will always counter that C. That's the problem. Rhino now is too strong. Eternals on room 5. Ultimate abilities apply blind. Yeah, but it's only one target. So on, on this room, room 5. Magneto very strong. Photon very strong as well. She applies blind to... Through three targets. Cloak and Dagger. Cloak and Dagger here also apply blind, right? Cloak and Dagger here would also apply blind. So there are a few characters here that would be great, but not a lot. New Warriors on six with Robbie. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, New Warriors on defense don't get the speed bar. But that would be interesting for sure, yeah. Okay, so after all of this conversation, there, there are some good ideas for this, but um, if the, the, the if this Cosmic Crucible season will only last uh, two months, like this one, it's going to be absolutely crazy fast. It seems like, uh, like every week we might face completely different uh, defenses. Because different rooms, there are a lot of teams you can try. And depending if you are on, on Masters or, uh, or Diamond or Platinum, you might see very different setups. Okay, I will uh, do a, a full list of these. And then once again, I'm going to try to make like a, a top five team uh, that benefits of each of these rooms. Okay, let's take a look uh, at the... The spider kebabs. Did they remove the characters already? No, okay, they are still here. Spider-Man Water. Let's see the stats of this monster. 
Stats and gear. Oh, if, if they are already here, Spider-Man Noir should be already reworked in game, right? What? Holy Cheetos. Holy Cheetos. Spider-Man Noir with a rework now. Level 97. Wow. Look at that damage. And the armor. The armor also very high. What? Level 97 Spider-Man Noir. 2 million damage and buffed. 2 million health and buffed. And almost 200,000 damage with uh, with only level 97. Damn, this guy is going to slap. Uh, two diamonds. So he can go like to what? At level 100, he should get around 250,000 damage. That's very impressive. This guy with three diamonds, level 100, around 250,000 base damage. And the guy really nukes, like piercing damage, three bleeds. 350 piercing damage with three bleeds. This is gonna hurt. No, what, what I said is that uh, it's not like they are a trap team. They are a trap team for uh, free to play players. Because until you have the full team unlocked, you cannot use them. But Spider Man Noir is still part of the Tangle Web. And the Spider-Man Water, right now, right now, he has individual value. You can drop this character on any team. You can put Spider-Man Water with the, with the secret defenders, like uh, we were talking. He might be the one that may... Ooh! Spider-Man Water Room 6. Spider-Man Water Room 6 with, uh, with secret defenders. With secret defenders. Yeah, this guy might slap. Spider-Man Water on this room is really gonna clap. Okay, interesting. That's a very impressive base damage. And this girl, let's take a look. 130,000. Ooh, that's kind of low. I know she has the wrong eyes away, too, but uh, that's a huge difference. Striker or Raider on her, let's see. Yeah, that's a little bit behind. Uh, of course, she doesn't have diamonds. So, I mean, she's still okay. But she doesn't have the piercing damage. She doesn't have the, the damage multiplier. Normal damage and no bleeds. Uh, so, yeah. SD with Noir on room 6. But the... They still get slapped with New Warriors and Lizard. Uh, yes, that's true, but not everyone knows how to play with Lizard there. And you you could make uh, Noir... Uh, you can make Noir a Skirmisher, Raider, or a Striker. And if you make him a, a Skirmisher, he removes the towns very fast from, uh, from those characters. Yeah, there... Was the special already reworked? Good question. Oh yeah, they already reworked the special. So yeah, the special already says it cannot be blocked. In ra <laughs> so not only they made it unblockable, not only they make it unblockable, they also gave 500% extra focus for her. Wow. And this one cannot be blocked as well. But no extra focus. Okay, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, they are already reworked. So if you want to Blitz, they'll be strong too. Okay, let's take a look at the other characters on MSF.GG. Did they change the gear of any of these characters to require skill? So gear tier 17. What? They removed gear tier 18 from MSF.GG? So, no skill gear on these characters. Spider Society. If you only... Yeah, yeah. 
So they removed gear tier 19 from msf.gg. So this tells me that they are doing some change to, to the crimson gear to, to force the, the skill gear there. Otherwise, why would they change it? Okay, so Spider-Man India, let's see. Let's see of what kind of gear nonsense he has. Nice focus, nice focus. The health is kind of low, but they get a bunch of stats only in raids. Crit chance, crit damage. Once again, I think the crit chance and crit damage is just a bait. You should still use these characters mostly as skirmishers and strikers for that consistency in raids. So, bio gear. What? Okay, so he uses the expensive gear is skill. The expensive gear is skill, the cheap gear is bio. This is a very expensive character then. Brandy, yeah, Brandy, they removed that option to open all the orbs because it was crashing the servers. Titanium Alloy, we just had a bunch of characters requiring Titanium Alloy. Iron Patriot, Colossus, Cyclops, so this might be a problem. Sco why, why this character requires Titanium Alloy? I guess it's because he has that, those Quantum Bands. At least one of the animations saw that, right? Yeah, the Quantum Bands from, um, from Art Light, if you guys saw the movie. Okay, not too crazy. So this one is going to be Tech. Her speed is very garbage, as you might know already. She gives the health boost, but once again, these guys, they have two characters that give health boosts. But only in raids. Okay, so where is the gear? Gear tier 18. So we have a main skill. And then we have tech. So it actually requires both types of gear. We have skill here and tech here. Interesting, I guess. Interesting. So she requires three sets of uniques. And uh, Peter B. Parker. Spider Society. This ability has cooldown of what? So it was wrong on the... Um, it was wrong on one of the of the infographics or something. Because it said 3-3. I thought 3T was too OP, so probably was a mistake. Yeah, wow. So look at the stats of this team. Look at the stats of this team. So this guy alone is giving 50% max health. The other girl, she's giving 25% max health. Gear tier 18, the full team, they are going to have easily 4 million health. 4 million health without diamonds or anything like that. So I'm not sure if they can win against uh, like uh, Pegasus or uh, or Bifrost. Their stats might might be just so big that uh, they don't have a chance. But we'll see. Okay. So in terms of gear, this Mofo uses the Oz formula. Hey, oh my God! Wow. Okay. So it requires the expensive bio gear and the expensive skill gear. Wow. But the good thing about the dual tags is that uh, it creates less of a strain on the on the origin gear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is not it's going to be problematic. Okay, so apply offense down, gain evade, striker as a way to is going to be a good option, maybe. For the evades. Deflect. This is going to be very powerful. This together with Tangle Web. Or, uh, or any other Spider-Verse character. Two dead proofs, two defense ups, two deflects, and two regeneration. Assist now, 
on the highest spider verse hero character once again you could use this with spider weaver spider weaver she has a very strong basic she has synergies with noir this is very very interesting this is definitely very very interesting i think you could make like tangle web spider society combo and uh, and really force uh, or noir or uh, or spider weaver to clap very hard on your opponents this guy i think they had big expectations for him to assist to give this speed bar but i think this ability is not working the way they they think it's supposed to work he's fast but he's not furious okay anyway i think we are done here i think we are done with these characters there are no other changes for now but uh, deadpool should still come uh, the deadpool rework should still be this patch because panda pool is definitely coming but yeah it doesn't have update stats yet spider duarte coming <laughs> oh my god M my favorite spider-man is already in game eh? my favorite spider-man is the symbiote spider-man so i can't complain I can't complain. Okay, so this guy with Striker as a weight is going to have some insane damage. Yeah, almost 250,000. And for some reason, they have a level 100, but they don't have gear tier 19. But this guy is going to clap. And he has a lot of armor now. So they really ramp up his survivability. So he has more solo value than uh, he had in the past. In the past, he had very trash solo value. And this is might, might be why they ramp up his armor so much. Now, let's see the daughter girl, Spider Society. Does she... When Spider Society... Oh, okay. Yeah. So if she would uh, retaliate... Uh, on hero spider verse she would be very strong she would be very strong to have like with the tango web but not like this spider be fine eh? <laughs> spider be fine would be great yeah that would be great okay so we took a look at the spider society sort of we already knew other kids were going to work we're just not sure about the the gear set up now in terms of raid teams in terms of raid teams is this team going to be better than um, Bifrost or uh, or the other ones we don't know for sure so I'm trying to find I know one of them gets speed bar on spawn trying to understand which one gets the speed bar if the characters gain if this character has speed up, enemies cannot gain speed up. I'm sure there is a character that gives speed bar to this one. Let's see if we can find it. Spire Society. Max health assist now. No, not this one. Maybe this girl. On spawn, a barrier energy. On the end turn, fill the speed bar of self and all spider verse characters. If they don't, if they have barrier or without barrier. Which is the character that gives them speed bar? I, I was sure there was one character that gives them like 20% speed bar or something. You'll be skipping this team completely. It's it's not a, a super interesting team. Let's be honest. They are not super interesting. 
Man, I was sure there was one that would give speed bar to to Spider-Man India. Oh no, he gets speed bar. Ooh. No, he already gets so much speed bar on spawn. Why is he getting more speed bar? They should give this speed bar to the Spider-Man India. To Spider-Man War, this is like pointless. He already gets up to 50% speed bar on spawn. To a maximum of 100. New update? Like the, the app or, uh, or something else? Okay, let's see. We just got one update. Is the second update in the same day? No, I still have the same update. Can you refresh? No, I don't think we can refresh. Or do 15% for the whole team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's another problem with the... The update fixed the loading issues. So I already updated the game today. Is it a second update? So yeah, it's not showing up for me. Is it on iOS for you guys or... Uh... Yeah, for me, it's not opening. Six anniversary. Alliance icons, Black Panther. One, one star review, yes. So I'm not sure, for me, it's still not showing up. Android. Yeah, so, so it's not showing, showing up for me yet. Maybe it depends on the on the start location professor x loading screen okay so that means you still didn't update uh... yeah so that means you guys didn't update uh, yesterday there were two updates but it was before there was one update last week not last week like three days ago there was update three days ago and there was another update now so maybe you were missing the update from yesterday Okay, so yeah, this Cosmic Crucible rules, not super interesting. They should be included on the blog post tomorrow. And I'm supposed to do Alliance Wars. But I'm afraid of doing Alliance Wars with the game crashing 24-7. Okay, there we go. We went 3 for 3 League promotion, yes. Somehow we got to uh, drop it down to Diamond 3. And we clap it. And the new rules are still not available. They are already in game, but they are not activated yet. But like I said, I need to, to make a list on the teams. And uh, the ranking is still bugged out, right? So the ranking is still bugged out. For example, this guy is rank 2. And he only has 26 million TCP. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We might have an improvement on these rewards. Not like it matters much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we're going to have a Zombie Juggernaut event. Diamonds for Zombie Juggernaut. I'm not sure if we are going to get the event again. But I'm actually excited about that because Zombie Juggernaut is one of the best characters in the game. And together with the Cabal team, he might be one of the best options for Dark Dimension 7. So I'm, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm going to take him to Dark Dimension 7, but he's on my top priorities. The game is still crashing like crazy. Yeah, so I, I'm not going to do war today. If that's the case, then I'm not going to do war today. It's not necessary. Okay. 
So what we're gonna do now? Skip, go home. Yeah, might be the case. Okay, guys. So I think that's it for today. Not gonna risk to play Alliance Wars and the game just crashing. Better play tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. We might be. I might do a late stream like when the the vlog is about to drop. But I'll make some videos to to prepare for the upcoming events and uh, what people have to save and so on so you can really get yourself ready in case in case it matters right from the data mines the juggernaut event might return we are uh, six months away from halloween so it might be the case might be the case that they return with this event we don't know for sure but either way the upcoming events video and then uh, and then I'll think something about the the crucible defensive teams on the loading screen uh, I see throwing a baby what the hell is that about it that's the the new spider characters those are the new spider characters it's this guy Peter B Parker he has the baby around so you, we cannot slap a guy on a wheelchair, but you'll definitely be able to slap a guy holding a baby. And, and I'm not going to say more before I get into problems. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys have a great night. And watch out. Watch out with all the bugs and with the with amazing anniversary gifts you got recently. And yeah, get ready to slap a baby. Okay, guys. Wish you guys a great night. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Take care.